Hello everyone, welcome. In our last three lessons we've been learning how to create simple yes or no questions from statements in Spanish. In this lesson we are going to review all of those three methods. So the first method is to simply replace a period with a question mark when you have a simple statement. So we're going to practice with that. So we have the statement tienes tiempo, tienes tiempo, which means you have time you have time. Again, this is the statement. So how would you ask the question, do you have time, using this first method? Well, it's very simple. Just replace this with this, and you have that. Okay, so we have the statement, tienes tiempo, you have time. Tienes tiempo, do you have time? Notice that my intonation rises here towards the end. Tienes tiempo, Tienes tiempo? The statement, it stays the same and drops a little bit towards the end. Statement. Tienes tiempo? Question. Tienes tiempo? Tienes tiempo? The next statement. You speak English. Hablas inglés. To make it a question. Hablas inglés? Hablas inglés? Statement. Hablas inglés? Question. Hablas inglés? The next statement. You speak English. Usted habla inglés. Notice that this is the formal you. This one here is the informal you with the tú. But the tú is not necessary because of the AS ending. So here we have. Usted habla inglés. You speak English. To ask the question, do you speak English? Remove the period, add the question mark, and adjust your intonation. ¿Usted habla inglés? 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 Our final example. They work. Ellos trabajan. The statement. The question. ¿Ellos trabajan? Statement. ¿Ellos trabajan? Question. ¿Ellos trabajan? So, they work. Ellos trabajan. Do they work? Ellos trabajan? On to our second method. So, remember the second method is to simply reverse the subject pronoun and conjugated verb word order. So, when you have a statement, just reverse the word order. So, let's look at some examples here. So, we have the statement, she drives. Ella maneja. Ella maneja. She drives. How do you say, does she drive? Reverse the word order so the verb would come first and the subject pronoun. Maneja ella. Ustedes trabajan. You work? Do you work? Trabajan ustedes? Usted habla español. You speak Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? Habla usted español? Remember that if you are in Spain, speakers of Spanish in Spain do not refer to their language as Español. They refer to the language as Castellano. So if you want to ask someone in Spain, do you speak Spanish? Well, use Castellano instead of Español. So the statement would be, Usted habla Castellano, which means you speak Spanish. The question would be, Habla usted Castellano? And our final example, ellos fuman, they smoke. Fuman ellos. Ellos fuman. Fuman ellos. And finally, our third method is to take a statement and add the question no or verdad to the end. So we have the statement, tienes tiempo, you have time. Using this method, I would say, Tienes tiempo, no? Which means you have time, right? Which is like saying, do you have time? Tienes tiempo, no? Hablas inglés is a statement. Hablas inglés. And the question, hablas inglés, no? Usted habla francés. You speak French. Do you speak French? Usted habla francés, no? Ellos trabajan. They work. 
Ellos trabajan, ¿no? Do they work? Remember that you can replace no with verdad in all of these cases. So we have tienes tiempo statement. Tienes tiempo, ¿verdad? Question. ¿Hablas inglés? ¿Hablas inglés, verdad? ¿Usted habla francés? ¿Usted habla francés, verdad? Ellos trabajan. Ellos trabajan, ¿verdad? That's it for this review of the three different methods that you can use to convert simple statements into yes or no questions in Spanish. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it very much if you'd hit the like button. To go on to the next lesson, click on the video that appears here on your screen. See you soon. Hasta pronto.